Adobe Story is a script writing application made by Adobe. It's designed to help you produce scripts with the correct layout and the correct format. And the formatting of scripts is particularly important either for the purposes of communication, if you're sharing projects across multiple departments in a large scale organization, but also because the particular layout carries meaning, it carries implications for production. Uh, this script, for example, is in the correct film script layout. And this formatting is important because on average, if you follow this layout with these margins and this font and this kerning and leading and so on, if you get it exactly right, just like this, then on average, one page of script will equate to one minute of screen time. And the longer the script, the more accurately this is the case. And this layout has been used for a very, very long time in the film industry. Of course, you may not be using the classic film script layout. You might be working with AV scripts or a TV script of one form or another, or an in-house standard. No matter which, Adobe Story will support you in the process of creating the right layout. But it's much, much more than this. Story also incorporates powerful production reporting, so I can produce breakdown reports with lists of things like uh, cast names, character names, these can be linked together, comments that have been put on the script, locations and so on. I can even generate custom reports with any combination of information I like, including tags. And one of the things that you can do with Adobe Story, if I just click on the very edge here to bring out the panel, is tag the script with additional metadata information. You can select a piece of text and then identify that semantically as a particular prop or a character or whatever you need it to be. You can generate your own tags. And these tags can be used when you're generating reports. So a simple example would be, here we go, the paladin approaches the bench throwing his rucksack to the ground in frustration. So I'm gonna select rucksack and I'm going to say that is a prop. There it is, I've tagged it. Now when I generate my production reports, this is gonna come up on the list of props. And when I produce my schedules, which you can also do with Adobe Story, I'm gonna know what props are required. Adobe Story is primarily cloud-based, which means that all of your work is stored out there on the Adobe servers. You can log in from anywhere you like and access the scripts and the synopses and the treatments. You can also download the files you're working on in a range of different formats. You can make a final draft file if you like. You can get a CSV if you want, a text document, a movie magic file, and also the important Adobe Story interchange format, .astx. This is a format that you can import into Adobe Premiere Pro and then carry out a speech-to-text analysis. You can locate content based on the words being spoken, a very powerful feature. Here I'm looking at the script editor view. You'll notice that I can view lists of comments. I can add a comment very easily. This is a comment. And I can see the scene properties. So here I'm working in the pond adjacent to the school scene. If I scroll down, I can go to another scene. Here we go, the village town hall. I get information about it and I can add information. I can specify running times. And all of these are used when generating schedules. On the left, I also have a scene browser. And these little colored dots indicate the presence of the most commonly appearing characters in the script. Here you can see we've got the teacher, is that magenta dot. Here we've got the paladin character that's part of this script. Story has automatic versioning. So here I can view a history. I've only got one because I've just created this, but I can have multiple versions listed here and I can do side-by-side -side comparisons. Story also has sharing capabilities. You can choose to share the script with multiple other users, and they can be co-authors, reviewers, or just readers. And in fact, if they are reviewers or readers, they can read the script using the iPhone app that's free and downloadable for Adobe Story. You'll notice that we also have the option to track changes. And if I just close these panels by clicking, I can turn on my track changes toolbar, and now I've got uh, what should be a pretty familiar interface if you've used any kind of word processing application. I could maybe just delete that word and you can see I've got the markup, I've got the different modes, whether I'm gonna see the original, the final, or the final with markup. I can accept or reject changes and so on.
For me as a writer, the really big deal feature in Adobe Story is really that it automates the process of getting the correct layout in just the same way that an application like Final Draft does. Here, if I scroll down, let's see, I've got uh, an orb speaking to somebody, and it grows in intensity, that's fine. I can press the carriage return key a couple of times, and I've got options for what kind of text I'm going to get. And if I choose a character, automatically the formatting is set for me to type in a name. So I can add my own name, for example. And now if I press the carriage return key, you can see this is some more dialogue. And Adobe Story is automatically giving me the correct format. I don't have to worry about it. It's a massive time saver. Now, right now, I'm working with the Adobe Story Air app. If I go to the home screen for Story, there's a little welcome video I can play. There's some information and some links. Under the project section, I've got various different items that I'm working on, different copies of scripts, character biographies, research, synopses. If I open these up, you can see I can view multiple documents at the same time. So a project is really just a batch of different items combined. Now notice along the top here, I've got a series of different things I can do with these. I can produce reports and manage lists, including character lists and actors and so on. These are used for schedules. But notice also this button at the top right hand corner to send story full screen. Now the Air app is functional both on Mac or PC. It makes no difference at all. You can download it and it's something you can put onto any machine you've got. You log into the application to get access to your work. You can also access Story in a web browser. And here I am using the uh, Google Chrome web browser and you can see I've got very, very similar features in the interface. But in this case, I'm logged in with a different ID. This is just a regular Adobe ID. And I'm using a free version of Adobe Story. And the free version gives you access to very similar features for script writing. It's got some history functionality. But you'll notice that a lot of the features are grayed out in these menus. This is a free version, and it's still very, very useful. It's fully functional as a script editor, and it even comes with the full screen mode, which is great. But, of course, there's an Upgrade Now button in the top right-hand corner. Given the range of functionality included with Adobe Story, the cost of upgrading to the full version is, I think, very, very reasonable. But even if you don't upgrade, as I say, you're going to be able to use most of the functionality, particularly for things like script editing. You'll notice here, if I expand this panel, I can view the scene properties, I can do commenting, but I can't access the tags, it's grayed out. I'm going to be showing you the full version of Adobe Story, the paid version, and you can follow along if you're using the free version, but you'll notice that certain features just aren't available. If I toggle back over, you can see in my authoring mode, I've got all of these menus available and all of these options are active. Adobe Story is a feature-packed application, and I'm a massive fan of it, and it gives you a range of facilities from pre-production right through production to post-production. In fact, it does so much that one could easily forget that it's actually fundamentally a script writing tool. And that functionality exists in both versions. So that's just an introduction to Adobe Story.